What's up guys, I'm Chris Carpenter with Story Real Estate and today on the Story Real Estate Business Highlight, we're going to Panhandle, Conan Coffee. of depression in my life and got healthy from that with a, some, some great people and really helped me get on the other side of that. And then knew I needed a, a shift in careers. Like, I mean, what do you do? You know, you're past your 40s and it's like, okay, now, now what do I do with my life? And my wife and I moved to Sandpoint, Idaho from uh, Southern Oregon. And there was actually an ice cream store there for sale that was going out of business. And there was an ice cream store there before that had gone out of business. I remember doing the build out and walking up the back steps and the business next to us, they were coming out and they're like, hey, what are you guys putting in there? And so I told them and they're like, oh, good luck with that. And I'm like, oh. After about two years, we realized, hey, this is actually fairly successful. And so we started looking for areas to expand. In the meantime, uh, one of my sons started his freshman year at University of Idaho. And so we kept coming down here. And we're like, man, this is a sweet downtown. This, the downtown here is just next level. And my, my wife and I are like, this is, we need to go to Moscow. Let's skip Coeur d'Alene, at least for now. Look at Moscow as the next expand. There's other coffee shops in town. You can get ice cream, other places. Tell me what makes Panhandle unique. First, we create a very welcoming, inviting environment, and then the people serving it serve it with a lot of care. Sometimes people have hard days and they just need to talk to someone. I think the intentionality of serving them can really make a difference in their day and at least make it a little bit better. Tell me about any events that you guys do. Our probably most popular event is our free ice cream days. We do them at all of our different shops, usually on the anniversary of when we open. That's around March. It is basically a day where all the employees, um, instead of taking tips, they get paid a higher wage. Basically anyone can come in and get free ice cream and we include uh, Idaho Youth Ranch and their foster families and their adoption families. And then we have a donation jar that we set up. And as like the families and us serve people, we ask the people to leave a donation. All the donations for that day get donated to Idaho Youth Ranch for people that are adopting kids through. Um, that company. What inspired them? I think it was originally like Jason and Stephanie, their heart like for people. And I know you guys have little pucks or wood. Yeah, wooden coins. Tell yeah. me about those. Yeah, so we have wooden nickels and wooden pennies. Okay. Um, our wooden nickels are free scoop tokens and wooden pennies are uh, free kids scoop tokens. We like to hide a uh, wooden nickel every Wednesday around town, okay. um, either in a local business or outside somewhere if it's nice out. And so people can go find it and get a free ice cream on us, which is super fun. Let's say it's my first time coming into Panhandle. Uh, where should I start? What would you recommend? I always point people to the ice cream menu. I would say the number one ice cream to try is salted caramel and brown butter cookie. Our ice cream is all made in Sandpoint um, at a kitchen up there by our owner and his kitchen staff. He names all of the ice creams and helps create all the recipes. In the time that Panhandle Kona Coffee has existed, he's made over 70 different flavors. Tell me about your coffee. So we go through four different local roasters, um, local to the Pacific Northwest. Our first roaster that we ever partnered with was Evans Brothers Coffee. They make us a special blend that only we get. Um, it's called the Blend 127 because there's 127 miles between our Sandpoint and Moscow shop. We um, serve that always on our espresso. We rotate out of the other three roasters that we associate with. There's Camiac Coffee Co, um, Proud Mary, which is from Portland, Oregon, and then Roast House, which is uh, from Spokane. Is there a fan favorite coffee when people come in? I would say the Askinosi Mocha is probably like wow. a fan favorite. Okay. So a lot of people don't know um, about Askinosi at all, but but it's a chocolatier in Missouri, and they source a lot of their beans from Tanzania. It's really dark chocolate, 70%, and so um, that mocha is not your traditional sweet mocha. It's a very dark chocolate mocha that is very creamy and very rich. Thanks for joining us for today's Story Real Estate Business Highlight. For more insider community content, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And as always, have a wonderful day.